En esta vida hay gente mala y gente buena. A veces no conoces quién es mala con su sonrisa falsa y dulce. Cappuccino. Um, so sit back, relax, enjoy the ride, guys, while we get her going. I know I see <laughs> I see comments, but something's going on with the TV. Here we go. Rita Cappuccino. Pero 
That's right, guys. We're gonna have Rita Cappuccino join us pretty soon. So sit back and relax. That's right, guys. This is your DJ, Mondaloka from townlook.com radio, keeping you connected. We're going to have Rita Cappuccino pretty soon. Um, so, Rita, I guess, I don't know, are you ready? I don't know. If you're ready, let me let me message you right now to see if you're ready or not. Uh, don't forget to share, guys. We got Rita Cappuccino coming up freaking awesome very, very, very soon. Here we go. Um, the last two songs was Rita Cappuccino. Check it out. This one's called Hurting Kind by her. Mm. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm tired of. Pushing and shoving and trying to push me under the bus. Yeah, I'm only you. Know what you're trying to do. Always pretending and lying, denying. Make me think I can trust you. And I.
Angelo, Texas. They just think God we all could walk. Mm-hmm. Life's too short to waste my time. You and I are at the end of the line. No, I'm not. Andres, we, uh, what's up, bro? Um, that's right, San Angelo in the house. If you guys don't know, Rita Cappuccino is from Angel, uh, from San Angelo, uh, with the group called uh, Con Animo. That is right. So if you guys don't know Spanish, that's like with love. So Rita Cappuccino, we love. Um, so here we go, guys. We'll play a uh, Con Animo music video, and then let me see if Rita is ready to do this. She's next. Um, I'm excited because she's a freaking awesome woman. That's right, guys. This is their DJ Mondo Noco. Can we connect there, baby? Go to Animo! 21. Here we go. Adela Romero, what's up? San Angelo. Don't Is that you, bro? After this song, after, after this song, Rita, after this song. Espero que te vaya bien, que sonrías con cada amanecer y que la vida te trate bien. Espero que encuentres amigos de verdad, no las que mienten frente a frente, que te apoyen en las malas y las buenas.
Oh yeah, baby, that's right. Go on animal right there. Go read a cappuccino. Go on animal. Here we go, little reader. Let's do this, girl. Let's do this. Bernie's lovers in the house. Yeah. All right, guys. We're gonna see. Hi, Bernie. Hopefully, it goes right, guys. Go back and relax and feel it right. We're gonna have three to cappuccino joining us. That's right, guys. We're gonna have three to cappuccino joining us. So let's do this. So you guys get your ready, or get your questions ready, and we can get the show on the road. From San Angelo, Texas, guys. Rita Cappuccino. Salute everybody out there in Facebook land. West Texas Promotions. Mercy. Uh, Mercy Perez in the house. What's up? Um, Andres in the, in the house. What's up? Bernice in the house. What's up? All the animal people. What's up? Um, all right. I guess it's uh, playing on a song until she jumps on. Did you charge your phone? Did you charge your phone? Here we go. Let's check this out. Let's do Sola. And wait for Rita. That's right, guys. Get your questions ready. No answer. Get your questions ready for Rita Cappuccino. Join us very, 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 very soon. Payback, huh, Rita? Payback. Nunca imaginé sentirme así Sin ganas de venir entre mí No puede ser, ¿cómo fue que esto llegó a terminar? Duele no tenerte a mi lado Duele no tenerte en mis brazos Make sure your phone's on rotate. It has to be a rotate. Make sure it's on rotate. It's like... San Angelo in the house, what's up? All the San Angelo people, Rita, they want to see Rita. Me hiciste un favor a dejarme Y todavía me cuesta mirarte No me gustó, me dolió Me quemó hasta lo interior Duele que ya no eres mío Que todo es y que no eres mío no puede ser como fue que esto llegó a terminar. Duele no tenerte a mi lado, duele no tenerte en mis brazos. Me prometiste en el mundo, mejor no hubieras prometido nada.
Why'd you leave me here alone? Oh, yeah. you know, Don't know where you are, where you've been, where you'll be. Will you ever come back home? This is the part that tears me apart. Cause I know that I should let go. You got your own road to follow. Don't let me read up. Forever's not with me. And I would let go. If my heart could leave you alone. Wait, did you like the page? I gotta ask, did you did you like the page? Is it on rotate? Is it on rotate? Is, you know, like is the phone room on rotate auto rotate? Estoy sentada aquí pensando en ti y no me estás porque me dejaste aquí. No sé dónde has ido, dónde has estado, dónde estarás. Si volverás a mí, try, try it again. es la verdad que más me tormenta. Y yo sé que debería dejarte ir. Si tienes tu propio. Camino a seguir. Siempre no es conmigo. Si mi corazón pudiera olvidarte. It says decline for some reason. Do you have any other apps open? Conoces quién es mala, su sonrisa falsa y dulce es mentira. Te hacen creer que eres alguien diferente, que no eres fuerte. They kept saying denied for some reason. So, do you have a personal page? I, I wonder if it's the, the fan page. Is it a fan page? Yeah, yeah I'm wondering if it's a, it's a, if, I wonder if it's a fan page or something. Try, try your personal page. Try, like, maybe not your personal page, but you know what I mean? Like, uh, it doesn't recognize my number is my phone is located. It doesn't recognize. It doesn't recognize. What do you mean? So it's not rotating? The screen's not moving like this? It should be on auto rotate because I'm I am like on this side. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Soy la mujer de tus sueños, que esta es una 
amor que todos desean, te quiero más. Todos los días besando mi cara, me cuidas como si fuera una reina, te quiero más, uh, 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 te quiero más, uh, uh, uh. a veces me pregunto si por ti siento lo mismo, tu amor por mí es el más grande en el mundo, que no se tomó. You might have to try your personal page because I'm wondering if if you're not uh, maybe uh, following on your fan page. That's what I might be thinking. Do you have your camera enabled? That's right, guys. I was reading a cappuccino right there. Te quiero más. If she wants you more, everything is enabled. Oh. Well, all you have to do is hit accept. I don't know. Let's try one more, I guess, and um, I guess maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Hold on. Are you on Wi Fi? Is that. I can't jump on there right now. I'm just sitting here wondering where you've gone. Why'd you leave me here alone? Don't know where you are, where you've been, where you'll be. Will you ever come back home? It's right there. You know, it's right there. This is the part that tears me You have to actually get on there. That way I can find it on there. Because I know that I should let go. You got your own road to follow. And I know. Oh my God! Hello. That's that's enough. That's good enough. That that's good. Hello, hello. 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 I don't see anything. <laughs> see, you know what it is. I think you're not on rotate. I think that's what it is. I was. Look. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got, what is this way or that way? Whatever. I put it backwards, I put it forwards, I put it upside down, everything. In a bag and a hat? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nothing oh, my God. Oh, look at you. It's messy. <laughs> Can you see me at all? No, you're facing your, your mess. The, oh, I see the, the Arby's bag right down the floor. <laughs> what? I see, I see the Arby's bag on the floor. And, the, I see. I see. We don't even have an Arby's. I see like a. I just. I'm just mess. It's not. Don't want to tap it. It's will probably switch back. Wait, are you an iPhone? Is that no, what you have? I'm Android. Hmm. Yeah, double tap your screen. It should switch back. Okay. Pop up. Nah, there you go. <laughs> okay, okay, guys. We're, okay, let me uh, let me hit some shares right now. Share, 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 share. And then, okay. So, okay, so what is happening in the wonderful world of Rita Cappuccino? So if anybody out there has any questions, 
feel free to say something or or whatever. So what's happening in the wonderful world of Rita Cappuccino? <laughs> the wonderful world? I know, it's a tongue twister, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, well, uh, man, we're just, right now we're doing, uh, we're getting ready for some big gigs and uh, I'm writing some more songs. So I have like three songs that I need to get into studio with. Oh. And, yeah. It's just been crazy. We have a pretty good um, month coming up. Uh, next biggest one is uh, September 9th. We're going to open for Stephanie at Corona's. So I'm super excited about that because Stephanie Montiel is like the first female artist I ever heard that I've, you know, made me want to listen to the handle music more. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, super excited. Yeah, Stephanie, Stephanie she's, a, she's a bad woman in, in the handle industry. She's a... She's definitely one of the, uh, she's up there, you know? Yeah, she's, she's, she's awesome. Um, so, so I guess, I, I, I know we had you last time and it kind of went like a little weird, <laughs> but uh, so now that you're here, now that you're actually here, here. Um, so what music have you came out? Okay, first of all, tell everybody who you are. Well, I'm Rita Cappuccina from San Angelo, West Texas. Um, I've basically been, you know, singing in cover bands, you know, on and off for the past, you know, 20 years. Um, made sure that, you know, I just focus on family, you know, growing, you know, raising my kids and stuff. And now the kids are all gone off to live their lives. I'm focusing on trying to push my music career. So that's why I started writing songs. And um, that's why that, that first single that I, that I released was about, you know, that was dedicated to my kids and my family, you know, just about, going out into life and what I really wanted for them. So that's how that song came about. And I just, you know, I've been blessed with more and more songs. The lyrics just come to my head and melodies and I just keep writing. So. Yeah. You, you know, and, and it's funny. Um, I, I, I guess how, when, when have you industry wise come out? It was last June. Last, last June? Yeah. And then, I, you know, and I remember, I, I specifically remember the other day, I think it was like a few months ago, I was going through uh, San Antonio and and I heard your song on, on the radio. I was like, what the heck? I was like, I know this song. And I'm like <laughs> looking through it and I see you know, Rita. I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, it's so exciting. What what goes to your mind when you, when you hear, I guess when you're seeing and hearing that your song is being played? Like it's, <laughs> and, and not just being played, but like, in San Antonio, being played on the airways. It, it freaks me out. <laughs> Just like, this is really happening, you know? And uh, yeah. the more artists that we get to open up, and I mentioned it, you know, a while back when we did the fanfare in March, it was so, it was, I, I don't know, it was so surreal because I went from being a fan in the audience last year to actually performing on stage in front of hundreds, you know, thousands of people out there, you know? Um, we had yeah. an amazing time. It's just, it's just crazy to think about how far we've come in one year, you know? Uh -huh. did, you, did you ever think your song was going to be played on the radio? I mean, what, has that like been a dream or I mean, what, what, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of like, wow. Well, honestly, I, I never, I mean, I love to sing, though, you know, don't get me wrong. I would love to have a day, day job job where I could just sing, you know, um, yeah. but I never, you know, I wasn't, I never grew up thinking, oh, I want to be on stage or anything like that because I was kind of an introvert. Uh, so, yeah. so, you know, being on stage, you know, but I like the energy of it. You know, I started doing it more and more and, but I'm, I'm pretty reserved, you know, to myself. And so it's kind of hard to, to find that balance and, and find that stage presence. And uh, yeah, yeah so, so I've really had to come out of my shell a lot. Um, so it's it wasn't a dream of mine before, but now it is. <laughs> so. yeah. What have you learned so far? Um, from Because I seen you in, in March. What have you learned from then till now, especially because like you've been gigging a lot more, you've been playing a lot of places and opening up for a lot of um, big names. Um, yeah. So what What's your journey? What have your journey been like? And then also too, you have a lot of followers from San Angelo. Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh, it was so amazing because when we were at uh, 
uh, fanfare, you know, we did a shout out, of course, to San Antonio, you know, because that was our first time there performing. And then we did a shout out to San Angelo and there was a bunch of people, like a lot of our followers came down and supported us at the stage. And we were like, did we hear that right? And so we did it again. We were like, San Angelo. And everybody goes, oh. We we're like, oh my gosh, they're the best fans ever. <laughs> so yeah, our people, they mean, they showed up for us. They show up, you know, whenever I had a release party también a couple of weeks ago for my newest song, we did a, a special video release party. And man, we packed the house, you know? So, I mean, they, yeah, they yeah. come out whenever it's really something special. They always show up for us. And man, I appreciate that. Us, uh, Animo, everybody in the band was just like, we're so, so beside ourselves and happy that, you know, we're, they're on the journey with us, you know? Yeah, yeah. So what, what, are, what plans you got with Animo right now? Well, with Animo, for sure, we're going to try to do, we've got a couple of festivals coming up this fall, um, but in uh, Eden and one here in town, Tambien, um, on September 23rd, we're going to be in Eden, Texas for their fall festival. And then in November, we have the St. Mary's Festival here in San Angelo. Um, yeah. yeah, so we're, we're trying to do more festivals, and we've got some private gigs, Tambien, like a corporate, you know, gig, and... Uh, you know, weddings and stuff like that. So we're we've got a pretty good schedule all the way up through uh, first weekend of November. So yeah. So I, I know when we talked last time, you were saying that you did a lot of um local events. What have you learned from your local events that you can apply that you're applying now in like the bigger bigger things? Um. Well, that that you kind of have to like try to read the room. <laughs> Yeah. Because I get, oh, yeah. you know, like our our goal is always to get people on the dance floor, right? Um, but there are some gigs that people won't dance at all. And so, <laughs> I'm like, am I doing something wrong? But they're not leaving, you know? So that's a good sign. So um, <laughs> so we kind of like, well, should we skip it? Away? Should we put, play more cumbias or what? You know, more country or whatever? Because, you know, we do, we do multi-genre. And so we, we kind of try to see what people are dancing to more, but sometimes they don't dance, but they don't, you know, they don't leave. So we just keep doing what we're doing, you know, doing our mix and um, yeah. yeah. It's, so it's kind of, I'm learning a lot about how to read the audience and, but like everybody just kind of like comes up to us afterwards saying that they enjoyed the show, you know, and they can't wait yeah. to see us again. So um, it's just, I guess don't doubt your yourself is kind of what what i'm learning is like you know be true to your craft and if you're true to it then people will kind of see how much you enjoy it and they'll also enjoy it whether they're dancing or not um but we always try to get them out on the dance floor but some people sometimes they're just not in a dancing mood <laughs> <laughs> you know and when i heard you and even when i listen to your music like your vocal is just like like it's i don't know it's like powerful and it's strong but it's soothing as well and and then you hit this like these transitions that goes up and it transitions like so clean like you don't jump it just kind of does a like ease transition you know what i mean like when you're like you know ah, but it's like ah ah you're like it's like i don't know what it is it's just <laughs> your transition is so strong and it's like oh i don't know about you but like i hear your voice but it's like it's, it's it's powerful. It's a powerful voice. You got, you got, like, you got some pipes on you, girl. Um, when did <laughs> Thank you, you. When did you learn how to sing? Well, I started out um, with mariachi, you know. Um, the, uh, that's the very, very first um, group I ever joined was a mariachi group when I moved to San Angelo. Um, and yeah. it was funny because they were all high school kids, and I was the oldest one at that time. I was like 20 years old. <laughs> I was the oldest. Oh, they were all high school kids, um, but they needed a singer, so I sang with them. And the funny thing about that story is that the um, my my bass player now that I have with Animo, I played with his wow. sons. They were in the mariachi band that I played with. Oh, <laughs> it's oh so my god! Crazy. Is, that, is, that, yeah. is that the older guy, the older gentleman? Yes, yes. He's our he's our, what do you call him? Our veteran. <laughs> Our most season. The veteran, yeah. At the most season, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember. I remember when I did an interview with you guys. Yeah, I was like, yeah. 
So what did you learn? Okay, so being in a group, and especially in the big stages, what do you learn about your group that you, that is, I, I don't know, because I'm sure you're like really getting to know each other like a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. So what, what are some things you learn? What are some things like cool that you find very interesting? Well, I find that we all have the same passion for music. Um, and it's hard to find that in the band because I've been in several groups, you know, throughout the years and you always have somebody that's, you know, there, but not really there, you know, they're show up sometimes and they're not really dedicated and nobody, but this, yeah. this group that we have right now, all of us, you know, we all like each other, which is amazing in itself because everybody gets along, you yeah. know, and, <laughs> And we told each other at the very beginning, it's like, look, I'm not here to be, you know, fake with anybody. If you, if, if I'm doing something that's bothering you, we got to be honest, you know, don't let it, don't let it just be in there and, you know, make you angry and angry, you know, and, uh, you know, if something's bothering you, you got to talk, talk about it, you know, we're all adults, you know. So we all put our opinions out there and we respect each other, you know, like crazy. And so, yeah, we have a great time when we're together. And so I'm excited because yeah. we're starting to like create, you know, the original songs that I'm writing. We're going to start working on those more. And, um, yeah. Cool. So these guys are amazing. I love all these guys. <laughs> yeah. So uh, can you speak, uh, talk about your uh, music video, your latest music? Okay, hold on. My mouth is getting dry for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> can you talk about your latest music video because i know you just got it out like and, and you know what i don't even have the music video i'm gonna have to tell Lawrence what the hell um okay so can you talk about your <laughs> it's hell, on Lawrence? youtube so, man <laughs> <laughs> so can you talk about your latest music video <laughs> yes so that was really special because um I used a few of the girls that were from our one of our high school's dance team. Because, um, yeah. you know, my, my daughter and my son, they love basketball. They were in sports, you know, when they were in high school. And, and so I watched these, these girls get better and better at the band, dance team. Um, it's fairly new, you know. It hasn't been around, like, 20 years or anything like that. So um, they just kept yeah. getting better and better every year. And a couple of the girls... Um, we're daughters of my a really good friend of mine. We've been coworkers for almost 20 years, well, 20 years, 20 plus years. And um, so I watched her girls grow up and I was like, man, your girls are so beautiful when they dance, you know? And so I always had this idea of using the dancers and I asked her a while back um, if they would be interested in doing a music video. And she was like, I don't know, yeah, probably. She said, that would be cool, you know? And so yeah. that's what I did. I said, for this next song, the um, uh, uh, for Sin Mentiras, I wanted it to be, I mean, it was very, like it's a ballad, you know, it's very slow and it has a lot of emotion in it. And so I yeah. wanted to, you know, feature the girls in that video. And so, yeah, we got six yeah. girls together and, you know, they were still in high school. Some of them, all of them, but two of them were still in high school. So um, yeah. we got, we had them choreograph the dance and it was a totally new experience for them. And then we made it really special yeah. because we did like a whole video premiere for them and they had never seen the video. And so I showed, we showed it to them um, that first night um, and they got to watch themselves on the big screen, you know, uh, and we shared that moment together. It was amazing, and they just they just had an amazing time. So, yeah, it was it was a great experience. And shout out to Lawrence Indio because he shot the video and and did a lot of work, at, you know, to make it you know become what we were really wanting it to become. So, yeah, yeah, and and it's a great video. I, it really is. I, I when I watch it, you know, it's it's really I don't know. It's just like really kind of subtle. But it, it, like you said, it does, you can feel a lot of passion in it, especially with your voice. You could, like, you could just feel it, you know? And it's like, mm, like, mm. it's kind of like, how would I describe it? Like, the, you just get enough, but not a lot, but you get enough to want more and want more and want more. And okay. you're like, oh, my gosh, you know? <laughs> um, and your, your voice, your vocals in it is, is it's phenomenal. I told you, it's phenomenal. Your vocal is, is just like off the chart. It's crazy. Thank it is you. Crazy. Oh, um, appreciate it. How did you get, 
You're welcome. Uh, Adel Adela Romero it says, hi, Rita, heart, wavy, eyes. And then eyes, yeah. And then, <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. We had Lo Lo Lorita on here, too, and Andreas uh, as well. Yeah. Uh, we got Mercy. Hey, Mercy. Mercy. Um, so what's your next project coming up? Or well, can you explain it or what's happening? Well, yeah, I'm going to be, um, I have th you know, three songs I said that, you know, we're going to be working out with Donimo, trying to, you know, get the basis down for it and then uh, get a producer online uh, to start working with that. And, uh, you know, I don't know, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to try to get Animo in the studio or keep going with the studio musicians. Um, so that's, those are some options that we're kind of looking into. And then... Uh, and then hopefully, I mean, I've been talking to Shelly Lattis to try to do a collaboration with her. So she's she's really busy right now, but we definitely have some ideas. So we're looking for that. We don't know when, but I'm definitely on her radar. So yeah. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, Shelly, she's a, she's a bad woman. I love Shelly. That's, honestly, that's, uh, I have a, I have like this biggest crush on Shelly, but obviously you know it's not gonna happen. But <laughs> you know, we have like she's awesome. She's an amazing woman. She's an amazing yes, she is. Woman. Amazing woman, amazing artist, amazing everything. Actually, she's just uh -huh. she's amazing. And then uh, there's Maria Romo on here. Hi from San Angelo, Texas. Oh, um, hey, Maria. Yeah, that's that's cool. Yeah, she, you can you can't go wrong with Shelly. Like that's I, for me. That's kind of, kind of like if you're on her radar and stephanie radar it's like yeah you're you're in you're in there you know you're in there girl you got it <laughs> you got it yeah, I keep saying, God, somebody pitch me. I'm gonna freak out when I meet uh, Stephanie. I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's another woman with awesome voice. Yes. Yeah. Well, when I first met uh, Shelly, you know, to like actually talk to her about music and stuff like that, I was like, I'm such a dork. I like, I went stupid. I got stupid. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Like, I like oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I just yeah. like, I don't know. Oh, but I love you. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, she's, I love Shelly. She's awesome. <laughs> Um, okay, so this is something I always ask everybody. I'm not sure if I asked you last time. Um, if, if if you were a donut, what, what kind of donut would you be? Because I specifically love donuts. I love donuts. I love donuts. So if I was a donut, it, like if you would describe me as a donut, it'll be a it'll be a um a glazed coconut donut with a strawberry filling. <laughs> <laughs> and with a, little bit of, a little bit of nuts on there. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you asked me that last time. And I still I haven't oh, thought of a donut that I want to be. Uh, see, that's why I asked you. Huh? I mean, I'm going to stick with my same answer as last time. I think I said I wanted to be a powder donut with, with strawberry filling. I'm pretty, yeah, yeah I'm pretty boring. <laughs> donuts are good stuff. Powder donuts good. That's good stuff right there. Powder <laughs> donuts. Really so um, so what what is your how many albums you want to do? What um, where's your where do you see yourself in like five ten years? Well, I hope to have a couple out by then. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to do uh, an EP or if I want to go for the full album because if, if you notice like I I put out one in June last year um, and then I started recording you know several songs and so then I you know I didn't wait a whole bunch of time between them just to kind of get my name out there and my music out there um, so I'm trying to decide you know if I want to do an EP or um, yeah full album for sure by next year I'll have either an album or an EP out um, but yeah, yeah, still kind of making those decisions and Lawrence is trying to help me through all that, you know, the management stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause yeah. I'm like, no, man, I, I tell him, I'm like, I don't know what I don't know, you know, like what I should do, what I shouldn't yeah. do. And, and, you know, everyone's got their own opinions of everything and I don't know really what, what works, you know, 
specifically for me or I haven't done enough to, to find out what doesn't work except for, I don't know, some of my videos are not that great. <laughs> I think it's fun. I think they're good. I think they're really good. Um, no, I mean, like got, my personal ones, like my TikToks and stuff like that. I'm like, ah, oh, I need to work on that more, you know? <laughs> Me too. Me too. Um, we got gift gift from Asuka from Austin, Texas, saying hello. Um, uh, Maria, David, da David, Dan, Dana, Charles. We love Rita. Uh, oh, David. Adela says, "Role domination. That's that's your goal." She says, "Role domination. <laughs> Role domination." How about you start with Texas? <laughs> <laughs> so um, so let's talk about your social media. Yeah, because now that you brought up TikTok and stuff, I have a TikTok too, but I'm I I just I cannot get people. I've been trying to get people, but I can't get people. So what's what do you do, or what's your TikTok? Uh, it's R Cap Music. Uh, music. So everybody go follow our music, yes. guys. And our music. And I have Alicia. a few videos out there. Uh, I put like some, you know how they do the singing the lyrics. I do some of those. Oh, yeah. uh, and then I did, you know, I do clips of like Animo, some of our performances. I do some of those out there as well. So. Oh, okay. Okay. How many? How many people you got? I only got like five hundred. Uh, are you supposed to? You supposed to check that? I don't know. Because I think I think they say when you hit a thousand, you could do like a live item or go live and stuff. I only have like five hundred. No, it's been going up. I have like five hundred and five or something. Like I that. don't even know how many I have. <laughs> okay, but that's what I mean. But I'm not follow, that great at it. <laughs> everybody, go follow our cap music. Our cap, our cap music. music. Uh huh. Go follow our cap music on. TikTok. TikTok. You know what? At, when we get off, you can post uh, your TikTok thing on on the on the feed. Maybe okay. maybe people will go follow. It. Yeah. I mean, I don't know because like, hey, I, I'm all I'm all about supporting now. Alicia Marcel Torres, love oh. you. Oh, hey, Alicia. <laughs> Been a long Alicia time, girl. Support, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dana. Our she put it in there. Our cap music. Dana. Dana. Thank yes. you, Dana. Well, am I following you? Am I, I don't, following you on I don't know. Possibly. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't. I check it right check. now, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's what when you're just like, go to my personal page. I'm like, hello. <laughs> or your, your personal messages. I'm like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> that's I'm different, Mondo. I know you can. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I was looking, I was like, wait a minute, because I looked at my on this phone, like, wait a minute, I can't go on there, because it's right there. I'm sorry. I, I, I get like that, too. I'm like, what? Yeah, no, it just, it takes a while for me, so. <laughs> oh, hey, man. but can, can you really <laughs> see me, though? Huh? I can see you. Can you see me, though? You can't, I can't see you. I can't see nothing. But like on the phone? I can't see you on my phone. Phone, but I don't want to touch it because then I might, you know, disconnect somehow. <laughs> oh, boy, well, I can see you. Yeah, you look fine right now. You look, it looks okay. fine. I'm like, do you, oh, you can see, see like the top of my eyes? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's <laughs> it's just your ear. Just no, my, a, no, you're fine. Do you like my ear? <laughs> <laughs> I just. No, we can see you <laughs> with the earwax. Oh. No, it's, it's good. <laughs> no, no, it's good. It's good. Oh man, oh. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just messing with you, Rita. <laughs> no, you, you look fine. Okay. We can see you. We can see you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Where, where are we at? Okay. So, <laughs> uh, Lur. Lauricio Cias Gutierrez says, Hi, Rita, so proud of you. Yeah, yeah, you know, we're, I'm proud of her too. Hey, Lucy, thank you. Aw. So, so, what have you been your, your most memorable moment so far in this musical journey? Or I should say the, 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 the Handle musical journey? I don't know. Yeah, the, the musical journey. Well, 
You know, because uh, I, I guess, like, I have two, two favorite moments. You know, of course, it's going to be uh, for, as far as, like, the Hano music and with Animo was um, when we performed at the uh, fanfare and we were finished, man, and we were tight. Like, it was a tight set. Everything went right. And then we had to pack pack up and go see you at the VFW. <laughs> so we were rushing and, you know, my husband, you know, um, he came and got the car and we were taking everything down and uh, we got in the car and we just barely started driving off and it was me and uh, my husband and Jesse, my uh, G-man, you know, my sidekick, you know, <laughs> with Animal. And, um, and we were just in there. And we were like quiet for a minute and I just screamed. <laughs> like, I just had so much energy. It was crazy. It was yeah. like, a, it was such a high. We were like so excited because it was a great show. We went out there, we prepared for that show and we brought, you know, we brought a good show to them. So, um, so that was like my favorite moment um, as far as Animal. And then, but like overall in my journey was, um, I was, doing an acoustic show probably a couple of years ago out in Rowena, Texas, a little bitty spot. <laughs> but it was an acoustic show, and um, during my break, this lady came up to me and she said, I just love, love your voice. Uh, I want your voice when I die and go to heaven. I hope that I have your voice as an angel. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, nobody's ever told that to me before. So I was like, so that's always stuck in my head like i've never even thought of that but she's like i hope i have your voice when i die and go to heaven so i can sing like an angel i was like oh my gosh <laughs> so those are my favorite moments yeah, yeah. so far you you have an i told you you have an awesome voice i i think it, i think it's awesome I don't, everybody out at peaceful blend you think you think rita has an awesome voice because i love your voice it is strong <laughs> and powerful and clean like you're like I don't know when like 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 when I when you performed like because like I, I think at, at the time I was already getting uh, um your your music from uh, I think what the who was it um Neona I was already getting your music from Neona and, and I was like you know and I, I had already started seeing your name coming out mm -hmm. I was like okay and I heard you know a couple of the songs I was like okay like she's pretty awesome and so when I was talking to Smoke about you know like uh, who was playing um a fan or you know the lineup who we got on fanfare. Uh -huh. And and I remember, I remember he was like he was like he was like have you heard of Rita? I was like I go, I, I I get her music but I haven't seen her live uh -huh. and um so I like, okay you know let's do this all right and then um so I was I was super excited to to hear you and see you because I can actually match the um, the name with you know the, with the, the email with with the face uh -huh. and um and so like you know so I, at that that day. When I was looking at my buddy Smoke, um, you know, because like sometimes when you know when a new band or new person or somebody that we don't know comes up, we're like, how are they gonna do? Are they gonna knock it out of the park? Or are they gonna be like, eh, let's let's hear it? And then when it's like when you first that that first twenty seconds into the music, I like, were like, damn, this girl's badass! <laughs> like you got everybody going, yeah. everybody yeah. got up and just started yeah. dancing like, yeah, like. Like you blew me away. Like you literally just woof. Like damn. Like you were freaking awesome. You. Like you blew me away. <laughs> literally, literally. Yeah, man, that was like, a damn, great was crowd over there at the VFW. Everybody was yeah. ready to dance. I was like, heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you, you, you let you got everybody coming up. Like got up and just boom. Like, yeah. Damn, girl. Like like wow. Like wow. Like like yeah. you were. How would I say? You're like. Like anybody who wants to hire a band that like, gets people dancing, Rita Cappuccino is the band that you want to hire. Cause you like that's what you did. You just got everybody got up and just uh -huh. know, just do this, yeah. you know. Like you said, they're ready to dance, and you you brought it. Like you brought you brought it. Like you brought that house down. Like now, thank like, you. I was, I was so amazed. Like oh, it was just amazing. Like, <laughs> like wow, like, she's awesome. I was I was like impressed. Very impressed. I'm and that's um, uh, that's all credit to Animo, man. My our band is freaking amazing. Like we, like I said, like we all had the energy. We all brought it. We were we were ready to, you know, uh, go out and represent 
San, San, San Angelo in San Antonio. That was our whole thing. We're like, we're going to show yeah. them that there's, you know, there's talent in West Texas too. So <laughs> hopefully we'll be able to go yeah. back. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Lucy or Lucero says, yes, yeah, she got great gift and lots of talent. Yes, yeah, she does. And then she has energy too. Like I could feel the energy when you sing. Like it, like, you know what I mean? You have that, that, that presence. Like, you knew you were there. Like, we heard you. You were there. Um, Madison Polito, what's up, girls? So Madison Polito says, hi. So another amazing artist. Yeah. She's magnificent. Sweet. Oh, my goodness. Um, okay, so fanfare. Let's, let's talk about fanfare. Um, what was your thoughts when you saw, like, when you got on stage and you seen everybody? What was, what was going through your mind? You know, I was really afraid that i was gonna freak out or freeze or something like that <laughs> but, but I told you, i'm like an introvert so i'm like uh i was really you know but when i got up there it all went away and i just was into the music and i just let myself go you know it was just like i'm not gonna tell you what i thought but i was like i'm just gonna give it a hundred percent so <laughs> if they like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. At least I gave it a, gave it my all, you know. So I mean, yeah. we had an amazing time. Like uh, that's my memory that's yeah. always gonna be with me. So <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. I I know. I, I mean, I could just imagine just getting on stage and I mean, I don't know. I I don't sing, but um, but you know, <laughs> just like seeing everybody out there, and you look all the way in the back, and there's. Everybody out there, like, damn, yeah, crap. you know, <laughs> yeah, and, and um, like, uh, I, I thought I was gonna be able to focus on like people's faces, and you know, and I think that's why I didn't get as nervous because there were so many people out there, like, I couldn't just focus on one person, you know, so yeah, um, I think that that's like what i've noticed like i get more nervous when there's not as many people at a gig because uh, i can see everybody's reaction <laughs> yeah. i'm like well, they're not impressed they're not impressed they don't want to be <laughs> but like yeah. if there's just a lot of people like you just you know vibe off of the energy and uh yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh man so um so what kind of music music you have coming up because i know we've talked a little bit about your, mm -hmm. your album or ep mm -hmm. so what uh what are you trying to hit on your album or and or ep yeah like, are you going mixed I, are you going straight to handle well, or like, i'll do I mean, I I'll, i think i'm always gonna do a mix because um well i don't know because i can <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can because I hear I hear some of your your country music and it's it's freaking badass. Like it's phenomenal. Thank like, you. I mean, I think your your country voice is just as good or as or better than your Tejano. It's like it's freaking awesome. I'm I'm like damn. Yeah, like, damn. I'm doing, I've always wanted to do bilingual country, um, but I the songs that I have written right now is a cumbia and uh, two rancheras or corridos. Um, so yeah, so it's gonna be another mix, but I have lots of country that I've already written um, that I haven't released. Yeah. So, uh, so I definitely have. It's more of like a Texas country feel, and um, I have lots of lyrics that I've written down and I haven't released. And so yeah, I have lots, lots of things to do. I just need to find the time to just work on you know new music and figure out what songs I want to put in, in what EP or album. Yeah. <laughs> so. So what, what got you into the countryside? Oh, man. I, okay, so I grew up close to Corpus Christi, but in my town, um, most of the kids were the people that I hung around with. <laughs> we mostly lived in the country. So, I, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we were mostly in country and pop. So I was listening to uh, Shania Twain. You know, Leanne Rhymes. Um, yeah. 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 And, uh, the women. Women yes. And then Alanis Morissette. I love Alanis Morissette. And, you know, yeah. oh, I just liked Alanis because of her, you know, her lyrics were pretty different, you know. 
she had some deep lyrics and some crazy lyrics and you know i liked it all so um i actually didn't get into tejano until i was older until i was like a, a senior i guess maybe in high school so you know a few years ago <laughs> <laughs> two years ago <laughs> just a few years <laughs> me too me too <laughs> I was in high school two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, what what Tejano song did you learn? Or what was the first Tejano song did you learn? Or Because, I mean, I, I think everybody kind of knows their first yeah. couple or their, or their first it was, uh, life one. Yeah. yeah, it was Porque Soy Mujer by Stephanie Montiel. Oh, oh, yes. yeah. That, that was yeah. my number one. And that, that was the first cassette I ever bought, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah. and then I, of course i after getting you know um into stephanie then of course i i found out about shelly and then i found out about elida so those were my you know three favorite females that i listened to all the time yeah 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 see and like for me i didn't really listen to this other girl this other girl um and and she she was she actually sang she was a singer too a long time ago um but yeah it was like the, the stage of the tres divas and i'm like whoa you know stephanie shelly and Nelly, I'm like, whoa, yeah whoa. like they're, like, they're yeah. at the time uh -huh. uh, the like, cold cold yeah i was like damn, damn. like every song coming up and they're like damn, damn, damn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. So, uh, can you can you sing uh, "Soy Mi Head"? Can you sing some of that song? Uh, I, mean, I don't know. Uh, well, I I know like the "Porque Soy Mi Head" part. <laughs> but, okay. Well, can you sing your song? Can you sing your song? So, okay, which wait, one? Wait. Before you do, um, hmm, which one? Let me see. What's a good one? Which one do you like? All of them. Uh, okay, guys, what do you think? What do you think uh, Rita should sing a, a verse or chorus on? On uh, her country song or Tejano song? Or, I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is, I, I know you guys are there because it shows that there's people there. <laughs> and, and, yeah, Ma Madison's on. What do you think, Madison? What, what, do you, what, what, is, uh, what is Rita's voice more leaning? I, I mean, I don't know. I think, they're, I think you could sing both. Country and Tejano. It's uh, David said country. 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 Um, so when you're cut, well, there's was it hurting kind and I would let go. Oh, that's mm -hmm. a good one, though. Mm. Both. <laughs> Both. Mm. Virtual album. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Yeah. All of them. Just sing them all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just sing the whole thing. Sing your audio songs. I'll do the, the country one. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh, both. Adela says both. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just sitting here wondering where you gone. Why'd you leave me here alone? Don't know where you are, where you've been, where you'll be. Will you ever come back home? This is the part that tears me apart. Cause I know that I should let go. You've got your own road to follow. And I know forever's not with me. That will let go if I can leave you alone. <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah. See, I like I like how you do the transition and you just kind of hit the, you know, the like I, I what is it, like a bar, um vibrato or something? I don't know. It's it's freaking awesome. Oh, oh gosh, I'm sorry. It's just, <laughs> like, You're when, you, good. when you hit your like, when you hit your, you know, your vocals and then you hold it, like, oh, gosh, that's uh, awesome. 
You have an awesome voice. Like, you have <laughs> Thank you. I know voice. I've been asked before sometimes to say, um, uh, I think it was like in my vocal sessions with Aaron, he's like, try not to do your vibrato on this part. And I was like, I, I don't like do it on purpose. It just comes out. <laughs> so I have to sing whenever he tells me, don't do it, you know, on this part. And I'm like, oh, I didn't realize I was doing it. So then I have to try to yeah. sing without it. And it's it's odd. It's odd. So I have to try to pay more attention to when I'm doing it. But it just yeah. kind of comes out. <laughs> <laughs> No, I know, I, yeah, it, I don't know, it, I know what you mean, um, but man, like, I, it's just like, you're, I don't know, it's just like, oh, I, you guys know what I'm talking about, right, like, you hear the voice, and it's just like, 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 almost like hypnotizing, like, you can hear the, like, the little, the, the, the hum, you know, the, and like, oh, like, yeah. like anyway, just, oh. Well, thank you. Alberto says, no, uh, is that your husband, he says, uh, yeah. he's a Love with Britney Spears. Oh. <laughs> oh, she did it again. And I, was in... <laughs> I oh, sing that. Uh, I only cover one of her songs for him, but I'm not going to sing it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, so what 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 chemistry do you think your team has? Because you know every team has like a certain chemistry or a certain niche or something that makes them special. What does your team have that you feel like other teams don't have? Well, my team. team you mean as in animal? Yeah, I mean the bat. Yeah. I mean the bat, not the team. The bat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. well. Now your team. Now your team. <laughs> Now you're softball team, but you're like, you're bad. I mean, you're bad. <laughs> anyway, like, my band, I think the, the reason uh, we work so well because everybody's like not focused on just one genre of music. Like they're not um, closed minded when it comes to music. Um, we'll bring it up like, okay, I like to do country, classic rock, a little bit of pop or something in there. And uh, of course, our cumbia. Yes, Tejano. We don't do just, you know, yeah. Tejano cumbias. We do like the Norteño kind of stuff, the, you know, all different kind of genres of cumbias too. So, what, but nobody is just like, I mean, there'll be sometimes we'll be like, yeah, that's not a good suggestion. We don't think that's going to work or we'll try something and it doesn't work out. And, you know, uh, but everybody, nobody's just like completely closed minded where they don't want to try it. Right. So I think that's what, what, uh, makes us different is like I want well, then Mario our drummer would say that I like to play everything fast. Because <laughs> I'll be like I like it, but let's do it after yeah. I was like that's, that's do con animal, that's what I tell them all the time. Con animal, let's do it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's kinda weird to hear that from a drummer. Like you're going too fast. I was like what? It's usually the drummer that goes fast, like, do 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 like, no, you're going to yeah, fast. Tell, oh, God. Yeah, God. he'll be like, you know, I, I checked out the, the speed of the original song, and it's a lot slower than that. And I'm like, it's all right. I like our version better. <laughs> We're good. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. so <laughs> he laughs. They laugh at me because they're like, she always wants it faster. But you know, I like to, oh to change God. it up. You know, I like us to put our own spin on the music too. We don't want to be just copycats. You know, we're not a we're not yeah. a tribute band. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I'm we're man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he says, Britney Spears is uh, Andreas says, is that your drummer? He says, oops, I did it again. <laughs> no, that's and he's our um, keyboard and accordionist. Okay, then there's a um, Mima. Mima says Miss Rita can't sing anything. She has it's just an amazing Aww. voice. She does. Thank she does. you. Um, Loretta says plus Rita has some awesome Rody. badass. Yes, I do. Is that what you're voting? <laughs> Loretta. Uh, oh, Loretta I is a badass <laughs> woman right there. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, yeah. they, uh, they get the. Sorry. 200 beats per minute. <laughs> 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 like you, we 
but you'd be, you'd be done in like two minutes. <laughs> like, dang. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so what what yeah. have been some of your your most memorable moments with uh, with Animal with your group? With Animal, I, I mean, I, I think we already covered this. So it was fanfare. <laughs> oh, was that? Okay, what's your funniest like, like moment? What? Moment? Your funniest moment. Fun the moment funny. that you won't forget. Other than, other than like a not like ah, but like a like a sorry guy. It's like inside story joke. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm, I'm putting it out there, so Animal, you better, your secrets are coming out today. Well, no, the, the thing is, I can't say them. I can't say <laughs> not say it. <laughs> Nobody is, no, we're not going to, our 13 listeners and, and everybody else, saying, we're not going to say nothing. <laughs> We're not saying it. It's okay. It's good with us. It's on the internet. It'll always be out there. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of, I don't think of one moment. I mean, like, I have so much fun with these guys all the time. Um, um, I can't think of one. Andy, help me out. What you think? <laughs> 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 okay, animal, uh, animal group. What what is the mon funniest moment? I got we got to know the secrets out here. We got to know this thing. You see, Adela well, put some ears out there. Patricia Vargas is in the house. What's up, girl? Not Barbie. There was um, one of our there our very first um, gigs, and, and uh, we were doing a what was it? it was a fundraiser. We were in a, in a small town uh, close to San Angelo, and it was outside, and it was just plug and play, right? Because there were several bands going uh, after each other. And so we get up there, and our bass player, you know what I'm on, our most seasoned player, he's saying that he can't hear himself, you know, but he always says that. Yeah, I can't hear myself, you know, the, the amp is not on. The amp's not not working yeah. right and so you know the tech guys are all like trying to figure out what's wrong with the sound and and they're like it's on man you know like we're getting a signal it's on and and so he's over there and nothing's working and he's turning his dial up on his on his base and then we look back and they're like if you turn the power on it might work <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so, oh, man. so yeah we so it that's a joke home. that's a joke for us all the time we're like is it on we always ask that is it on <laughs> so. uh, let me go check this off <laughs> is it all right yeah oh man yeah so we all you know, we all have done that we've all yeah. done that so I want to give a shout out to um, that Barbie chick. She's on there from Show Off Promotions. Um, see, you, should, you guys should. Uh, she does with um, Thursday shows with Lauren. Oh, oh yeah. See, you guys should have Rita on there. Shoot. Shoot. <laughs> but you know, it's funny when you say that because like at work, um, you know, like it's funny because like when when they have put a new computer in or whatever, I don't know how they deem me to to you know put together the desk or the computer. Um, and then my my coworker because he he has a minor in computer science and then like uh -huh. one I remember one time like I had put the like the the, mo the modem on the two computers and everything everything was connected kind of and then I'm like what the heck and I was like Sam the guy's name Sam Sam like it's not working like what the heck it should just it should just turn on and detect and he's just looking at me and he just kind of got the power cord you gotta plug it in <laughs> no they are like, oh, yeah. And I, and then after that it was all like, dang it, like I don't, I don't know. It, it's it's like it's almost like the complex stuff you could get, but uh -huh. it's something simple as turn it on, plug it in, or whatever. It's like whew, out of the mind. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh gosh. It'll get you every time. Um, <laughs> it's like. It's like the I don't know what it is. It's like the older you get, the less the less uh, things you're you're aware of. You know what I mean? You're just kind of like focused here and everything else. Is like yeah, kind of like eh. I know things things should know. just magically happen at our age. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like, like me trying yeah. to jump on a live with you. I mean, things could just actually work. <laughs> I, 
I tell you, I repel. I repel technology. I don't know what it is, but everything will work until I actually try to do an interview, and then it'll be like, no, because I've joined your lives before. Remember, like I'll just be watching you. Be like, hey, you joined the live, and it works fine. But uh, we try to schedule it. (laughs) I know. Oh man. So what uh what events you got coming up right now? Um. Well, we have a little private gig coming up this weekend, but um, on September 9th, that's uh, the one that, that we opened for Stephanie at Corona's. Yeah. So that's going to be a party. Yes. I know. <laughs> Dang. That's exciting. Texas is not that, well, that well, far well, from Arizona, Mondo. You could just come down. <laughs> I I know I know I can <laughs> I know you know what we're we're gonna we're gonna be down well I'm, I'm gonna be that well I should say we're I'm, I'm not gonna say who but we're gonna be down there in San Antonio next month and San Angelo is uh, well San Angelo is like forty minutes away from San Antonio right <laughs> no yeah Mondo it's three hours oh, my God. Is it three hours? Yes, forty minutes. Somebody's driving way too fast. <laughs> <laughs> I do drive fast. Oh man, I do drive fast. Oh my god. Um. So okay, we've been on for quite some time. So okay, so how? I'm sorry, my leg is itchy for some reason. Um, uh, that's why I was doing itch my leg. <laughs> um. So how do they get a hold of Rita Cappuccino? And what what music genres do you is there other music that you like other than country and tano? Uh well yeah, I like it all. I like I like blues, I like rock, Ooh. I like pop, pop. Yeah. I, uh, pop. I like a little well, well okay. not not well I like the classic country sound more than the classic and the Texas country more, but I don't like I like the pop yeah. country too, so much. Um, oh, like the yeah, the, the new age, yeah, yeah. So who's, who's your who's your country guys or who's your country music people? Oh, my favorite Eight? country Eight. artist is Miranda Lambert. Oh, she's bad. I love <laughs> Miranda, man. Uh huh. Oh I would, gosh, say, I, I would say if I ever met her in person, I know it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I love like like if it's women country, I love Miranda. And mm-hmm. Carrie, Carrie Underwood. Yeah, uh, Carrie Underwood's good. Yeah. No, they're, 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 <laughs> them two ladies are like, there's something else, man. You know, oh, God. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, another memory that I have uh, a few years ago, I played with a different, a different band that I had at the time. And uh, we played one of uh, Miranda's song, Ten Men. Uh, mm. We covered that song, and when I finished singing it, this girl came up to me. She goes, you know what? I hate Miranda Lambert. She said, but you made it. I was like, oh, my God. I don't know where this is going. But she said, but you made me like that song. I actually love the way you sang that song. I was like, I don't know what to say because I love Miranda Lambert. <laughs> so I was like, I have mixed emotions about this comment, but oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, man. It's, it's yeah. crazy. The things yeah. that you know, fans. I love talking with the fans too. Like um, after a show, yeah. during our break, I usually don't sit down. I'll try to go to the ladies' room, you know, really quick. But I'll go and I'll talk to everybody because I want to know if people are enjoying the show or not, you know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, like it's funny because like when when I do what usually when I DJ, it's usually to fill in for a club. I, I initially started as a club DJ, mm-hmm. and I, I feel the same way. Like when I'm up there you, and 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 you're doing your thing, you're kind of like looking around, like, why isn't people dance? <laughs> what's going on here? Yeah. You, like you, you, like you feel like all weird. Like, oh, what the heck? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh man, but I, I I totally get you. I I totally totally get you. Um, what what has been your coolest club experience? Mm-hmm. Or, or wedding or or backyard party um I well like, i like weddings huh i i would say uh, um, we did a family reunion last year 
And um, one of the our, our friends that, that actually hired us for the gig, she I was chatting with her back and forth about what kind of music, you know, was there was there any special requests, blah blah blah, you know, how we wanted the you know the flow of the gig to go. And uh, yeah. she was, you know, she we were chatting and she told me that she had always, you know, wanted to be a singer, you know, that she loves watching me go after my dreams because she'd always wanted to do that, right? And I was like, well, what song do you want to sing? I said, I'll bring you up, you know, on stage and you can sing. I was like, let's do it. And she's like, I don't know. And I was like, you need to do it. Just do it. I said, you can come to one of our rehearsals. And so she came to one of our rehearsals and we, we rehearsed one, a song for her. We learned a song for her that she wanted to do. Um, and then oh, cool. and I sang it with her, uh, you know, just to kind of give her a little bit of support. But yeah, so we kind of made her dream come true. You know, she got to sing in front of her family. Uh, so that was a really oh, special cool. moment. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. That's, that's always nice. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'll bring... Am I saying it right? Abricio says, are you going to sing with Stephanie? Question mark. That would be cool. Oh, that would be so awesome. She oh might, my God. She might ask yeah, I would love to. Who's that would be awesome. Like, that would be awesome. Huh? I said, who, who would say no to that? <laughs> I know. I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I don't know. She's cool. I'm pretty sure she probably would. Um, yeah. She sings Amazing Blues. You sing Amazing Blues? And then Patricia says the eighties. I love eighties. Eighties is awesome. Sharp yeah. promotion. Um, you, what, what? Who's your blues people? Who's your bluesies? I love. I love Kareem Bailey Ray. That's my blues. Well, I guess that's more soul. Mm. That's more soul. I like uh, Joe Bonamassa and uh, okay, okay. Susan Tedeschi. I haven't heard that one. Yeah. My, Joe Bonamassa is like an amazing guitarist. So yeah, you listen to his man. He's got woo, <laughs> it's amazing. But uh, so, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, so just like I just I always want to go watch him in concert just to sit there and be in awe of his guitar playing. Um, but <laughs> Susan Tedeschi, man, she rocks. Um, I don't know any of the like the newer artist i haven't really stayed you know up to date but gary clark jr too i love him Jeez. So okay so what about what about the hano wise who is your right now who is your the hano who's on your radar at the hano who are you like looking at like whoa 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 there's too many to name are you kidding me there's there <laughs> Like I know, I know. every time I hear a new artist, I'm like, oh my gosh! Like, you know, back in the day, um, sometimes you hear somebody on the radio, you'd be like, whoa! Like, I don't want to listen to that anymore. Um, but <laughs> yeah. nowadays, like, there's so many artists that are so talented, and it, you know, of course, it helps, you know, with the social media. Like, all the people are getting out there, and they're getting their chance, you know to get their music out there and with you know like you all these amazing djs that are supporting new artists and allowing us to have our music out there which is amazing because like or else we'd never hear these people because there's some of the stations that still they want to stick to only the classic tejano um artists which is great but like we need new music yeah. out there too so um yeah. so yeah so i i don't i mean there's just too many to name. I don't. I don't want to offend anybody because there's so many amazing yeah. people out there. Yeah. No, I got to. You know, and I was just having this conversation with somebody. Um, I'm, they know who they are. Uh, you know, like, and I was telling them, you know, there's there's different types of DJs out there. There's ones that want the numbers, so obviously they're gonna play all the the popular stuff or all the the played thing, but. Me personally, I love all the new music, especially if you're um, young or underrepresented or female. I love pushing the new music because, you know, I, I me personally, I love seeing the journey of the artist from, mm -hmm. you know, being who they are to coming up something awesome. Because I, I know for like, um, just to name some artists in the beginning, um, like Dime Marie is a, a great friend of mine, and I've seen her grow, you know, from when she first started. 
Um, Angelique Alvarez is a, another great friend of mine. I've seen her grown from when she used to just, you know, do side gigs and stuff. Uh -huh. um, um, gosh, dang it. Who, Monica, Monica Salvador. Yes. I mean, I've seen a lot, a lot of these artists, and I, I personally love seeing their journey going up. Tristan Ramos is another little guy. I love that guy <laughs> that I see, you know, just kind of their journey. You know what I mean? I don't know. For me, it's like a personal it's yeah. a thing that I love to do. But, Absolutely. Um, but, yeah. For, but so if you ever, if anybody ever notices, like nine out of ten times, I usually have either the new artist, a becoming artist, or, or, or the young artist or something. Because in my opinion, like, I, I, I just love connecting personally and get to know who the people are and, and, and see their journey. And I want to be a part of that journey. For me, personally, that's it's just me. And my, anyways, enough of bloating about me. Um, yeah, well, so thank what, you. Uh, what, Appreciate it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, um, so what, uh, what advice would you have for anybody out there trying to come out in the music industry and be, be I guess, be something out there? Because, I mean, you just not that long ago are, have been through that journey, and now you're seeing a whole new side of, of the music area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I guess my advice would be to who try to surround yourself with people who are going to be honest with you, like 100% honest. <laughs> and, uh, you know, because it's hard to find people will just be like, oh, yeah, you're good, you know. Um, but I want I want to know what, what can I do to be better, you know. Um, yeah. If something, you know, in our show didn't work, hey, you know, that that song was all right, but I don't I think y'all should stick to, you know, maybe scratch that one off. But I don't know, you know. Um, yeah. You know, or you can, can tell, like, because there's some, some songs you can tell that people will sing that they're not giving their 100% on. Like, maybe they're just not feeling it. Um, maybe it's not a song that's being forced on. Because I know through the years, like, I've been told, this is, this is what song you need to sing because this is what everybody else wants to hear. And, but I really don't like the song. And I sing it anyways, but it's not going to come across as, you know, that you like it. People are going to be able to tell that you don't have 100% heart into that song because yeah. you don't like it, you know? <laughs> so, um, yeah. so, you know, make sure you try to be true to yourself. And if you change your mind a thousand times, change your mind a thousand times, you know, and try not to get hung up on the mistakes. Um, I know that's hard to do. And people try to crucify by you for doing the wrong thing or saying the wrong thing but um and that's one thing that i, I wish i would have learned earlier in life is to just let things go <laughs> not harp yeah. on them no harp on it just yeah. do you yeah um yeah you know and and i tell my team you know if, if you're going to be in the deep well, in the dj world if you're going to do it do it for the love. Do it for the reasons that you you started off. Mm -hmm. Or don't. You're not gonna be famous. Yeah. This is Tejano. You're, let's be real. Yeah. Be <laughs> you do it because you love it. If exactly. you go to like the reggaeton or, or magazine or that's different. But it's uh -huh. Tejano. You know. Yeah. Why? Just. I love Tejano, yeah. but just let's just be real here. <laughs> um. So is, does anybody else have any questions before Rita has to go to bed? Because you're what, 9, 10, 10, 40, 10, 40 over there. I can't anybody see my clock. So. <laughs> any questions, guys? Any questions? Um, so we have uh, Patricia Vargas from Show Up Promotions, uh, David, Donna, Charles, uh, Albricio, uh, Cappuccino. Is, is, is he your brother or who is he? Alberico. Oh, he's my husband. He's the number one roadie. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> the number one road, number one supporter right there. Um, who else do we have? We have David. Yeah, okay. So, if anybody have any questions before we head out, um, forever behold your peace, guys. I want to so, say and, uh, shout out to Cheyenne. That's uh, Cheyenne. Dave and Dana's uh, daughter. She's amazing. She's my number one little fan. She's like four years old. Oh, that's cute. And she, her her oh. favorite song is uh, Beyonce. That girl is my <laughs> 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 
<laughs> She's well, adorable. You are on fire. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. I mean, I don't know. That's cool. I love. I love when you know when when you you know when you're idolized by the you. That's so cool. I yes. uh, wish you the best. You're doing awesome. Thank you, Lucy. All right. Well, before we head out, I want to say thank you, Miss Rita Cappuccina. Um, like I said, you're always welcome to join live. If you could get it to join if live. If I can get it to work. You're always welcome to join. <laughs> if you charge your phone, if you get it, you're always welcome to join live. Um, I'm here for you guys. Like I tell okay. you and everybody else, I'm always here for you guys. If I could help you out in one way or another, I would because, like I said, I love no. you guys. I love, I love my no. listeners. I love the artists. I love everyone. Um, awesome. So, before we head out, before we head out, is there anything you want to do? Shout outs, um, do a backflip or something? I don't know. <laughs> I want to do a shout out definitely to uh, my number one supporter, my love, uh, Alberico Cappuccina. He, uh, he's there with me the whole way. And uh, yeah, so I couldn't do this without him. And then to my animal family, um, we got Jesse, Ramon, Jesus, Mario, Andres. And uh, Tony, thank you all so much for all you do for, uh, you know, our music and all the dedication. I uh, love my animal family. And Loretta, number one, she's an amazing cook. She keeps us fed. <laughs> she's an amazing, <laughs> she's an amazing roadie. <laughs> and Adele, thank you for your support. Um, and definitely to Lawrence. Uh, that's what it is, Indio, DJ Indio. He's um, uh, helped me immensely this past few months, and uh, I couldn't say thank you enough to you for your support. And he's uh, now managing me, so i um, looking forward to, to uh, what we can get done together. And then uh, thank you to everyone. I, would, I know I was uh, kind of bugging everyone, I felt like, <laughs> on the opening act competition that I was doing for a while. Um, Y'all got me to the top five. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that support. It was amazing. And uh, I was like excited to even get past the top 20. I made it all the way to the top five. So really, really appreciate you guys uh, supporting me. Um, that was an uh, interesting competition. And uh, <laughs> so uh, we'll see what happens in the future. And, uh, Thank you, thank you for being there. And don't forget to request my music um, at your favorite station. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then how would they get a hold of you if they want to book you? Um, well, uh, my number, <laughs> uh, they can email, <laughs> email uh, rcappuccinamusic at gmail.com. Um, I also have my contact information. Uh, we do a lot of bookings through Messenger as well. I keep forgetting to write down Jesse's number. Um, Jesse's the one that does a lot of our bookings for Animo. Um, I'll handle like just acoustic gigs um, if I do an acoustic booking. Uh, but everything else goes through our Animo page or we have our uh, the email address out there and the phone number as well. So on our Facebook. Awesome. And don't forget to follow her on TikTok. Yes. <laughs> TikTok and YouTube. Oh, yeah, and YouTube. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you, Miss Rita Cappuccina. Thank I guess you I'll so see you much. when I, ever I see you. <laughs> All right. All right. You have a good night. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys. Time to go. I'm out. Mimi sign. Peace. Bye.